Here's every Fortnite Disney crossover which should be gone forever. Follow along to see if you have any or if you want any. But let's start off with the first ever Disney Battle Pass skin which was actually Deadpool from Marvel. This released in the Chapter 2 Season 2's Battle Pass as a secret unlockable skin. And with Deadpool being a very popular Marvel character, I'm surprised that this may never return as it's a Battle Pass skin. There is also the Katana's Bat Bling and the skin's secret edit styles. But then Chapter 2 Season 4 came along, which was an entire Marvel Battle Pass, where we got Doctor Doom, Wolverine, Thor, Jennifer Walters, Mystique, Storm, Tony Stark, and even Groot. So that's a lot of Marvel skins that shouldn't ever be returning already. But also in the Battle Pass, there was many different Marvel items, such as gliders, wraps, and pickaxes. So you're very lucky if you own this Battle Pass, because so many Marvel fans probably want a lot of these skins, especially Doctor Doom. All of these skins had extra holofoil edit styles that you could unlock, with the final one being Rainbow. These are very iconic characters within the Marvel Universe, and this was a very iconic season within Fortnite as well. Hopefully, Fortnite sell these skins in the future, but maybe just keep the super styles for Battle Pass owners. Drop a like if you'd want that, but for now, they're gone forever. And same for the Mandalorian skin, which was the first ever Star Wars Battle Pass skin in the game. This was in Chapter 2, Season 5. You could unlock a lot of different armor for the Mandalorian, and there was also the Child Bat Bling, which you unlocked in the same Battle Pass. Mandalorian is definitely a popular Star Star Wars character, so the fact that fans can no longer get him if they started after Chapter 2 Season 5 is honestly crazy to be honest. So again, you're very lucky if you manage to get this battle pass. But maybe you might be able to get the Mandalorian glider in the future, which is the Beskar umbrella, because this was from the Mando's LTM game mode, which technically might come back, but the umbrella is pretty rare, so you might want to check if you have it, and you might want to check if you have the Wakandan Salute emo. This also released in Chapter 2, Season 5. It's part of the Black Panther set, which we know his skin belongs in a real money bundle. However, the emote was actually from Challenges, and it's never returned since. It wasn't that difficult to get. You had to play 10 matches, outlast 500 opponents, and play 5 duos or squad matches. So pretty much if you played that season, you should have the emo, but it's very good to have in the locker. And another thing which is good to have in the locker is actually the Carnage skin. This is another Marvel Battle Pass outfit from Chapter 2 Season 8. Technically, he's owned by Sony, but he's a Marvel skin and Disney owned Marvel. It did match the theme of the entire season, and it also came with a spray, glider, contrail, and bat bling. I haven't really seen many people talk about this because Chapter 2 Season 8 wasn't one of the best seasons. But if you did manage to get the battle pass and you did manage to get the skin, that is a win in my opinion. But it's not quite as good as owning the Spider Man battle pass skin from Chapter 3 Season 1. This is a very good skin and i can't believe spider-man is locked behind a battle pass that is mind-blowing but nevertheless chapter 3 season 1 was very good and it was quite iconic because that's when we got the spider-man web shooter mythics the skin also has many different edit styles such as the white one the black one and even the super styles with the last one you unlock being the fully golden spider-man he's one of the most popular marvel heroes ever so this is amazing to have in your locker and if you missed out on him let's just hope fortnite bring old battle passes back in the future there is alternative spider-man skins such as miles morales spider-man zero spider-man no way home and also spider-man 2099 these all come to the item shop but for the original spider-man he may never return but the season after this marvel exclusive skins continued with doctor strange and the prowler another two pretty popular marvel characters Characters, and the Prowler was actually a secret skin that season. You had to complete three challenges to unlock him, damage opponents while crouched or sliding, search chests before taking any damage, and also use a spray at the Daily Bugle POI. There was a couple of other challenges you could have done, but those were the easiest ones. So did you manage to get any of these two skins? And did you manage to get Darth Vader? Again, one of the most popular Disney villains from Star Wars. In 
fact, probably one of the most iconic in the world locked behind a battle pass. This was in chapter three, season three, and it was the last skin you unlocked in the battle pass. There was other items in his set as well, such as the pickaxe, bat bling, and wrap, and one of the best crossover emotes, the Imperial March. However, this emote was free. You didn't need to buy the battle pass, but you did need to level up. Hopefully though, if you play that season, you did buy the battle pass and you do have Darth Vader because he might be gone forever. And on the topic of Star Wars, we do have the Jedi training emote from chapter two, season one challenges. I've spoke about this before because it's a very rare emote. And in order to get it, you had to complete a lot of challenges using the lightsabers, which not everybody likes the lightsabers. But will the emote possibly come back? Who knows? And who knows if we're ever going to get lightsaber pickaxes within Fortnite? People always mention this whenever we get a new Star Wars collab. Surely it's going to happen one day. Subscribe if you'd buy them if they did ever release. But collaborations in the Battle Pass didn't stop there because we then got the Marvel skin Spider-Gwen. And although she's owned by Sony, she's still Marvel, but Disney owned Marvel. It's kind of confusing. She released in Chapter 3, Season 4, and you might be noticing a pattern here. Every season in Chapter 3 actually had a Disney skin in the Battle Pass. So this was a really stacked chapter for Fortnite crossover skins. Spider-Gwen again does have super styles you could have unlocked and an emo in the battle pass the acrobatics she's definitely a popular marvel skin within the game and i do see quite a lot of people using her and although we now have the gwenpool skin for the chapter 5 season 4 battle pass it's not quite the same as owning spider gwen of course we can't forget about magneto from chapter 5 season 3 this was the last battle pass before fortnite announced that future battle passes are no longer exclusive so magneto also might be gone forever he was also the secret skin within the battle pass so did you unlock him and complete your challenges let me know but marvel skins don't stop there we have loki from chapter 2 season 7 and wolverine zero from chapter 3 season 3 if you haven't already noticed both of these skins are from fortnite crew packs and they haven't made a return since they released in fact no fortnite crew item has ever made a return just yet however these technically aren't gone forever because on the official fortnite crew website website it does state that crew packs may be made available again at a later date to fortnite crew members so if you want one of these two skins there's hope they potentially will come back technically they can but was you lucky enough to get them in the first place don't worry if you was one of the players that missed out on jack sparrow from the mini battle pass these are confirmed that they can come back and it has happened before as well with the star wars ones so did you have or do you want any of these crossover items Use code ASHI in the Fortnite item shop to support me out even further and thank you guys for watching.